How's it going, everybody? It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. Now, I did skip um, last week, and I also didn't really put up a lot of videos this week. Uh, got some stuff going on behind the scenes, some things that I'll be sharing in this coming week, which I think you're going to really like. Um, let's start. I got some stuff I want to share with you. So I had a couple of people ask some questions about this right here. Now this is some of that moss agate. I have my dirty fingerprint. <laughs> this is some of that moss agate from Utah, all polished up. Now I got tons of this stuff, so we'll be doing some more cutting and polishing this winter, but that's kind of what that looks like. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm also uh, shooting this video on my cell phone, so I'm going to be doing shop videos with the cell phone, so hopefully it turns out, and uh, outside videos with my GoPro. My buddy Sean, the rock dad, I'll put a link down to him down below, showed up to my house some rocks for me, including this. Which that is a piece of a corundum, which is very cool. It's, uh, a, not, um, hmm. It's gemmy, but not the gem stuff. But I don't really care about that. It's a beautiful piece, and most importantly, it is from a buddy of mine. So, this guy can go right there. <laughs> Running out of space. I need something else back here for uh well more more rocks i think kurt kurt over at rock on adventures he sent in a package so he did a giveaway which uh i won so i'll be opening that guy up this week and uh now if you follow me like on instagram or uh on uh you look at the community page maybe you have already seen this so a little bit of a thank you is in order okay uh, what I have here is the DGI Mavic Mini drone now you might be thinking what the heck does that have to do <laughs> with rock hounding well we go to a lot of places, and uh, there's uh, we go to a lot of places that are very remote, that it's difficult to see what we're getting into. So I picked up a drone. Now uh, the YouTube AdSense dollars paid for this, so I would like to personally thank each and every one of you who watch. The videos that have the ads turned on, um, it's uh, that kind of views and support have allowed me to expand the project, tripods, lighting, this drone, which will make the adventure videos very, uh, very enjoyable. I think it'll add another perspective to things, which will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that, you know. Um, I think that's about the, the stuff that I have to show. A um, couple of things just to chat about. So, uh, it's pretty common practice for people to find a rock. And uh, I'm just going to pick on, I'll pick on this, this rock that my buddy Sean gave me. So, Sean showed up with this. And... Maybe somebody can easily look at this and be like, I know exactly what that is. And based on the photo, maybe maybe it's it's not that, that easy. Maybe um, I'm looking around over here. Maybe somebody sees this and you're like, well, that's, a, that's an agate, right? Like we've seen that, you know, it's silica, it's banded, on and on. It shouldn't be too hard to identify that. What is this? Go ahead, you tell me what this is. So, what am I getting at here? Um, it's pretty common that people will send a photo and be like, 
help me identify this. They don't give any of the additional things that are required in identifying it. And maybe they just don't know, you know, but people have been for the doubt, right? Um, the thing that you kind of need to be mindful of is location can help a lot in trying to identify your, your mystery rock. So when you say, it came from western Washington, well, that's, and I get it, people are being intentionally vague as a means of concealing how their secret rock spot, um, but I'm going to show you right here on the screen um, this uh, microstrata map of the geology of western Washington. So, and that doesn't account for like eroded banks and things that could be going into streams. So as you can see, each one of the colors represents something different and it is a very complex area geologically. So I get it, you want help identifying your rock, but if you don't have a location, a hardness, a gravity, you just want something based off of a photo, it can, it can be difficult. It can be difficult to get a photo. Maybe it's not even this. Maybe it's just like it's a blurry, well, it's not going to go. Maybe you just have a blurry photo of this rock with poor lighting. Ah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta add the info if you want the identification. That's just, you know, just leave it there. Um, over the past two weeks since the last Saturday video, I've gotten a couple of emails from people that have, uh, well, I'm not going to call anybody out. A couple of people have wandered off into the wilderness based upon Google Maps telling them to go somewhere. I'm going to put a video up there on why you should not trust Google Maps to uh, direct you out in the backcountry. Please, um, if you're using GPS to navigate to spots, please take a minute, just go watch it. Hopefully you can learn something from it and uh, not get lost. And that'll that'll be that. Um, I think that about wraps it up for this Saturday video. Um, this coming week, I will have a lot of things posting up, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for some fun drone videos. Should be good. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the views. Uh, it's the views that make things like this uh, come to fruition. So, you know, it's all about y'all. Have a good night, everyone.